Ah, oh, what a beautiful Canadian morning for my first day on my new farm, eh? Oh, look, what's that over there? Oh, good gracious! Okay, well, uh, at least I've got my field over there. Holy beavers! Okay, well, it looks like I've got some work to do, eh? Better get to it. Okay, we're talking about Stardew Valley. This is the first game of 2016 that actually managed to keep my attention for more than a few hours. I originally bought it when it first came out, played it for a few minutes, and then ended up putting it away um, just because I, I got a little bit bored. Um, but I am so glad that I returned to this game and gave it the time that it needs to really settle in um, so I could experience what an amazing game this is. Now I have to make the obvious comparison between Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon, which is the obvious inspiration behind this game. Uh, I, I am so amazed with what Stardew Valley has been able to do um, with the already solid foundation that Harvest Moon has established. Stardew Valley recently reached 1 million units sold, uh, which is pretty incredible for a game that was built by one guy. What makes this game so great? Well, let's get into it. Stardew Valley includes every aspect that you could expect to have out of a game like this. Fishing, farming, mining, animals, social, some story elements, and many, many more little hidden secrets that you'll find throughout this game. What raises Stardew Valley up to the next level though, is that aside from having already what you expect to have in the game, they have that, and they've added a next level to each of the aspects. One way that this is illustrated is through the leveling up and progression system that they've added into each of the unique skills that you have in Stardew Valley. For example, in your farming, once you sell a certain amount of crops, you'll level up. And as you level up, you'll get more and more efficient at farming. Once you reach levels 5 and level 10, um, you'll be able to pick a, a specific specialization um, based on your tendencies and, and what you want to pursue as a farmer. This adds a whole new level of depth to the game that this series, this genre has never seen before. Sharing this Stardew Valley with you is a, is a wide range of, of characters, all ranging from you know boring, basic characters all the way up to you know some really weird and, and interesting, mysterious characters that you'll look forward to getting to know, as well as the five bachelors and bachelorettes that you can marry um, and have children with and start a family in this game. The social and minor story aspects that have been added to Stardew Valley really complement the, the basic farming and building stuff that you can do throughout the game. So while you're building your farm and getting yourself established, you can also have some, some distractions that you can use to fill your day. For example, wooing a potential husband or wife, or engaging in some of the other minor little story sections that you can unlock um, by exploring and talking to certain people throughout the game. This combination of building your farm up on one hand, and then on the other, um, engaging in all the social and story aspects, makes for an incredibly addicting game to play. You'll find that there's always something that you really want to reach next, whether it's being you're saving up to get a barn and then buy some animals and see what that's all about, or if you're engaging in some of the you know secret story elements, for example, the community center storyline um, in Stardew Valley, trying to save up for certain things to unlock different areas uh, on that storyline. Um, you'll be addicted to this game and wanting to get the next chunk as soon as possible. I do have some minor complaints about this game. These hold me back a little bit from being the most excited about this game that I could be, but you know, they are a little bit minor. For example, the geography of Stardew Valley, there are some little weird sections. I don't like the forest area at all. It can be a little bit confusing. There's rivers separating and the way the camera works um, is you can only see a certain amount of, at a time. So when you're foraging for goods through there, um, it'll be hard to keep track of where you've been and you'll end up wasting time just going around in circles. Um, as well, different things relative to each other. Uh, there were some strange decisions there. Um, there's a shortcut from your farm up to the uh, carpenters area, um, but if you were to go to the carpenters area from town, it would take longer. 
Um, there's a couple little weird geographical um, issues like that that I guess are maybe a drawback of having this type of map, but I was a little annoyed at some points. As well, Stardew Valley definitely treats you like an adult and doesn't hold your hand at all. Um, there are some dynamic events that will come up throughout the game that if you're not really sure to look for them or know what's going on, um, you'll have no idea what to do with them. Uh, for example, there was an event that happened to me that opened up a certain area that I just had no idea what it meant, so I never was able to take advantage of that until I researched it online and, and found out. With so much stuff that you can do in a game like this, uh, it's hard to really find out in the game what the best course of action to take is. Now the communities online are, are really good at giving the best advice for what kind of avenues to pursue in the game, how to do story things, what are the best crops and animals and artisan goods that you should make um, to maximize your profits. Um, but I found having to look online for these took away from my gameplay experience. I felt like I was cheating and not really discovering the game on my own. Um, so I kind of went through a blind playthrough, I didn't look anything up, which is what I recommend that players out there do. Don't worry about, you know, having the most optimized farm with the best stuff. Just play the game as you would, discovering things on your own. I promise it'll be much more rewarding. What Stardew Valley has done with the Harvest Moon style farming simulator, um, story based RPG, whatever you want to call it genre, has taken it over and grabbed the attention of all the fans of that genre. Um, I am really looking forward to what this developer can come up with in the future. Um, already he's super engaged on the Reddit communities, um, asking for feedback from his players and, and explaining uh, different patch updates and what's happening. I'm really impressed with this game in every sense, its development and how it plays. And for that reason, my final verdict for Stardew Valley is a 9 out of 10. A must have. Go and get this game right now, especially if you've ever played a Harvest Moon game. It is well worth it. I'm also going to give Stardew Valley my first ever Yes Guy Guarantee. This game is guaranteed to give you hours of fun. Definitely go out and pick this one up. I highly highly recommend it. Well, that's all I've got to say about Stardew Valley. If you guys haven't had a chance, definitely take a look at my series Video Games, A. Eh? Uh, it's a podcast that I do with one of my good friends, Josh Taylor. Definitely go check us out there, um, where we talk about you know games like Stardew Valley and all sorts of other fun stuff. So definitely worth a look there. But I want to thank you guys for watching um, this review, um, and we'll hope to see you next time on Yes Guy Gaming.